To support women leaders, WOCAN has created an intensive leadership course to provide participants the knowledge and skills needed to integrate gender into policies and programs. It's been a, a big demand of, of almost every woman I've ever met over the last several years for a leadership course. Even women who are at very, very senior levels of UN and international organizations, for example, feel a need to step out of their organization, spend four or five days with other women in particular uh, to explore the common problems that are particular to women leaders. The reason that this course is different and it's important is that leadership, as, as far as our research shows, and as, is um, primarily conceptualized and practiced in, in very masculine terms. So as a result, it, it's, it creates a real predicament for women, even when they're given a position of leadership. But the predicament it causes is it's a no-win situation for them, because if leadership is conceptualized in masculine terms, the woman leader is expected to behave in masculine terms. But when she does do so, she's uh, criticized for being too controlling, too male-like. On the other hand, if she decides then, as a leader, to conduct herself in a more feminine way, <laughs> then the, uh, the reverse becomes sort of obvious, where she's accused of being too weak, too feminine, unable to lead. In this course, we are saying women need to recognize that there are opportunities that they can use instead of looking at ourselves and saying, well, I'm a woman, there are certain constraints that I have, I have to go through those barriers. We are saying the individual matters, and it's the individual who will take these opportunities. So it includes a lot of programs that many other trainings don't give, like self-awareness. How do I see myself in a relationship to the people I lead? How do I affect them and how am I affected by their behavior? So there's a very strong component of a behavioral change in the training. We need women leadership in agriculture and natural resources to, uh, to harness appropriate strategies that can allow for management of these resources for sustainability and better benefit of women. And the leadership program that Wokan is offering is very, very critical to me in terms of reframing the frames that I had earlier that were not actually appropriate. And these are the frames that I thought were ideal at the time, but now I'm realizing that there's a new frame that makes you relate with people better, make you be effective, make you be efficient. This course, what it does is it explores masculinities and, and through the exploration of masculinities, it allows men to engage in gender issues. Then it allows men to be comfortable with the idea of how do I then support women's leadership as a man. I believe that uh, women are very important members of our society, uh, especially in agriculture. And I feel uh, because of the role they play in agriculture and natural resources, they need to be leaders in that sphere and they should be supported to be leaders in that sphere. The skills learned are then taken home and implemented in the field. And when I back, went back home and I could take this what I learned from here particularly on relational practice and uh, explain and work with the rural women there and that was I think uh, one of the most interesting things for me. Currently there are insufficient numbers of women and men readers that are qualified, that can have the knowledge and the skills to be able to integrate uh, gender into policies and programs. Therefore, it's important for this course that it is be able to train such kind of women and men so that they can lead organizational change and policy development in their various uh, countries that we go back to. I feel that I will be able to do things differently in a way that I'm able to have a greater impact in the people that I train, the people I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, be it at um, the decision-making process level or at the local levels. And I feel that I have a responsibility and I have the skill that I need right now to be able to influence the, the, the dominant practice uh, in our countries. Now that we've developed the course and refined the course, the intention is to roll it out and, and produce it uh, in various countries in Africa and in Asia.